question number six okay so they want you to prove that this is equals to this okay so we're going to do that we start from the left hand side so left hand side we have okay a1 uh, we have 2 sine x plus 90 and then sine x minus 90 okay so this one you can expand so you get 2 sine x cos 90 plus cos x sine 90 okay you got this on one side and this one when you expand you get sine x cos 90 minus cos x sine 90 okay so one thing we know is that cos 90 is equals to 0 so this whole thing becomes 0 this whole thing here also become 0 cos 90 is 0 and we also know that cos 90 eh, sorry sine 90 is equals to 1 sine 90 here equals to 1 so what you have left is 2 and then here is cos x and here will be negative cos x so when you expand this oh wait i realized something i just realized that we have here plus 1 i didn't write the plus 1 you should have plus 1 okay wait let me should be should have a plus 1 here so here's a plus 1 so here you got plus 1 so you get negative 2 cos square x plus 1 okay so we have we want to turn it into this right negative cos 2x so what we can do is this one we can change it to sine right we can change it to sine so that's why i want to change this to sine as well okay so sine it becomes 2 so cos square x is equals to 1 minus sine square x plus 1 so you get negative 2 um, plus 2 sine square x plus 1 so you get negative um, negative 1 plus 2 sine square x so how do we turn this into this so one thing we know is that this one here cos 2x can also be turned into 1 minus 2 sine square x right and then here got a negative so i put negative in front so you see here we're almost a, almost the same right so what we can do is we can factorize the negative out so when you factorize the negative here you get 1 minus 2 sine square x so 1 minus 2 sine square x is this lah. So it's cos x, so you get negative cos 2x. So shown. Okay, so that's the first part. Next, what they ask? Hence, solve this equals to 1 over 2. So this one is basically this. Lah. Okay, we have already found that this is equals to negative 2x. So negative 2x equals to 1 over 2. So we write here number 2 so negative cos 2x equals to 1 over 2 so that means cos 2x equals to negative 1 over 2 is 0 0.5 lah, okay so like this so we want to find the reference angle first so reference angle for this so cos inverse 0 0.5 will be 60 degree okay so from here we know that 2x is equals to what so this is a uh, negative right so negative means in what quadrant will you get negative all science teacher are crazy so cos negative will give you these two quadrant quadrant 2 quadrant 3 so quadrant 2 will be 180 minus 60 so 180 minus 60 will give you 120 and then quadrant 3 180 plus 60 so you get 240 Okay, but don't stop here because this is 2x. 2x means what? 2x means that there are two cycles, correct? So 120 plus 360 will give you 480. And 240 plus 360, you get 600. So if you want to find for x, everything here must divide by 2, right? So you divide by 2, you get 60, 120, 240. 
and 300 so all these are your answers right that's all they ask right so they gave you the range x is between 0 to 360 so that's correct lah. 0 to 360 so that's the second one third i mean b question b sketch the graph so they want you to sketch the graph um y equals to um what is this 2 cos 2x okay oh wait one more thing huh they give you the range you see the range huh? they give you is 0 x 3 over 2 pi so they never give you 2 pi so it's not exactly um it's not exactly the whole thing you have to draw because this only until 3 over 2 pi okay so how is it going to look like so we know that cos 2x is going to be cos x is like this right this is 1 but this is 2x so that means there are two cycles so it's going to be like this okay so i'm just going to sketch first huh i'm just going to sketch first so it should look like this okay and uh, what else and they say this is 2 right so that means the amplitude here is 2 here is negative 2 okay and then modulus so that means there is no negative graph so that means this part here don't exist because there is no negative everything must turn into positive so it becomes like this okay so decide all no more huh? decide all no more okay so your graph like this and one more thing is that they said it's supposed to be 0 to 302 pi so 302 pi means what usually we do until 2 pi right 2 pi means here lah. this is 2 pi this is pi so 302 pi means here lah. so it's only half so that means your graph is only going to be from here to here this part no need to draw okay so if i redraw this it should look something like this so your graph huh, is going to be like this yep so this will be 3 over 2 pi and then here will be pi here will, wait, uh, here is pi then here will be 1 over 2 pi okay and then the amplitude don't forget the amplitude here is 2 and there is no negative 2 because everything became positive already and then uh, what else uh? mm, yeah so here here will be x here will be y mm. so this should be uh, this is the graph you don't have to draw the con you don't have to draw this part because you only want from 0 to 3 over 2 pi so that's this is your answer